Hey loves and welcome back to the channel and welcome back again to another studio recreation video. Now in this video, we are going to be recreating Painted by Spencer's filming studio. Now I am a huge fan of his. I love how clean but still very elegant his setup is, especially when it comes to the lighting. It's so spot on. So if you guys are also a fan, if you guys want to try as much as possible to recreate his setup, in this video that's what we're going to be doing so if you are interested then stick around with me don't go anywhere and let's get right into this video <music> So welcome back again. My name is Kelechi Obebana. Just in case you're seeing me for the first time, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. So in this video, um, we're going to be creating or recreating painted by Spencer's studio setup, filming setup basically. And this is going to be a continuation and part of my recreation series. So in case you guys enjoy this anytime, and if, in case you guys learn anything during this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up as well as comment down below. Just let me know. So in this video, we are going to be recreating his setup. Now, again, I am a huge fan. I do makeup tutorials and I love his setup. I feel like it's so clean, so detailed and so crisp. Now, if you're someone who, you know, you want to get into makeup or maybe you want to get into filming hair tutorials, beauty content, this video is going to be very much helpful helpful now i do want to point out that i do have content relating to setting up you can also check my previous video in this series i'll link it up here if you're getting started i have an entire playlist relating to filming set or backgrounds literally everything and anything you could possibly think of with regards to production lighting all of that i'm in absolute awe and in love with like setup and the behind the scenes and the production and yeah so in case you don't know who painted by spencer is he's a youtuber here also a professional makeup artist he's so gorgeous so beautiful and his setup just represents that he has this elegance and simplicity so in case you guys want to learn more about spencer i'll leave his link over here as well as in the description box so you can definitely check him out as well as his videos okay, so i have my pen and paper and what we're going to be doing is a basic research i always do this every single time i want to recreate a set that way i kind of have a feel of the channel have a feel of the theme and also have a feel of what we're going to be needing to recreate that background that set so that's what we're going to be doing now just going over to his channel and kind of seeing what his vibe is what the theme is as well as you know what the setup looks like So I'm over at Spencer's channel right now and I can see like a consistency with his setup. So basically he goes for something very simple and clean, basically just a backdrop. Now backdrops are amazing for beginners because they are easy to set up, but they're also budget friendly at the same time. Now, if you are doing makeup tutorial using backdrop, is actually going to be amazing because it's going to help pull in the focus to just the face the model as well as your makeup application process product you're showing that way you don't have distractions like what's going on behind me you guys will see the difference when i put a backdrop just in front of me or just behind me sorry so that way um i'm in focus and my you know entire technique process is as detailed as possible So moving on to his setup, um, initially I was a bit confused as to what kind of backdrops he's using because obviously he's using backdrops. I was kind of contemplating on whether they were 3D paper backdrops or the silk satin shiny fabric that he used and draped them beautifully but however after watching a couple of his videos I did notice 
something with his background um the movement of it i know i <laughs> Um, the movement of it just gave it out, uh, we gave it up and I think he's using fabric but to be more specific, maybe like a satiny, um, silky fabric that is very shiny and also very reflective, right? He's also using a backdrop stand obviously to hang the fabric um, behind. Um, in terms of lighting, I do want to say he has somewhere between um, I want to say he has a minimum of four lights because I can see guys It's so difficult figuring out what youtubers film with especially when they don't have a filming tour filming studio filming equipment um, set up tour um, But yeah, just by with lighting something that gives off or something that gives away lighting especially when you're filming beauty content is usually the eyes right so if you're filming with an LED light it's definitely going to reflect in your eyes if you're filming with um, a ring light it's obviously going to reflect in the eyes depending on where you position that light that's also something that's very important but um, however I couldn't find what lighting system he was using i watched a couple of his videos and i did notice like a similar pattern with the lighting and the eyes um it seems like he has two ring lights directly in front of the model him as well one on top and one on the bottom basically i think this is going to be amazing because it's going to help balance out cancel out the shadows i also noticed a hair light on top of the model's hair and a backlight as well so we're going to be playing around with this let's just do this and get started what i'm going to do right now is to just grab all the things that i need it's now to do this I have one fabric in front of me because this is the one that I think I want to work with. This one is like a champagne gold type of vibe. And as you guys can see, when the sun hits or when the light hits, it reflects. So by the time we drape it and we have light in front of us, it's going to look amazingly beautiful. So I'm going to be using this one. This is pretty much like a silk satin fabric and they are usually the most inexpensive whenever you want to purchase fabric. I always get my fabrics in two and a half yards it's better to have more than to have less depending on how big your you know setup is or wide your setup is so i'm going to be using this and carefully dripping this i'm just going to go right and get right into setting up So this is what we are looking like um, right now, trying to replicate Spencer's setup. Like I said, the lights, I think in his videos are a little bit harsh. I could go ahead to reduce this just a tad bit. So from what I could see in his video, um, one light was acting as a key light and the other one was acting as a fill light just to fill in the shadow here. I'm gonna change the background, move like change the design, but this is typically what he has going on. He has it draped and this is what it's looking like. But let me turn off one light so you guys can see the difference. Can we see the difference? Again, I'm filming with one light, one key light over there. And this doesn't look bad. I can go ahead to adjust my camera settings and it still doesn't look bad to be honest with you. I feel like we could still get away with this but again with like filming beauty content you don't want shadows and I can see a little bit of shadow going on here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah this doesn't look bad as just like my main light but when I turn the second one on guys you're going to see a huge difference in terms of quality so i'm going to turn this on right now did you guys just see that now this is a little bit too bright so i'm going to go ahead to just dim this down a little bit oh gosh this is so beautiful guys this is what we have going on like i said the first light on the top this which is this one over here 
is definitely brighter than this one over here i don't know if you guys can see the difference but this is going to be my key light and this is the fill light which is similar to what he has going on now again notice um i do have a light or just over here that acts as my backlight so that is going to eliminate my back i don't know if you guys can see this right here i don't know if you guys can see like this area of my hair is a little bit illuminate illuminated but yeah i have my hair lights over there you can so i have my back lights turned off now again i still look amazing i still look good um the the light in front of me is kind of illuminating the back as well as illuminating me at the same time but you guys could see the difference that that made in terms of making me stand out but also standing making my background pop a little bit more because again this is like a satiny silky fabric let me turn this on and yeah could you guys see how that illuminated my background but still illuminated me and makes me pop top it probably has a reflector really not mad at this at all let me know what your thoughts are i'm gonna look straight into the camera just so you guys can see the similarities between the lighting setup in my eyes and in the models eyes again i hope i'm making sense <laughs> But, I mean, this is so beautiful. I don't know why I didn't think about this since, but look at this. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so loving this new series because not only do you guys get to learn, I also get to learn new ways of improving my quality. And this, I've never done this before, but this looks so amazing. So what I want to do right now is to probably change up the design of this drapes um, and maybe try out maybe one or two other fabrics to see if this can work with different fabrics and different um, textures at the same time. So this is giving me like a 3D vibe. Honestly speaking, I love it. Um, I do love the swirls and curves. I feel like without the backlight, it doesn't show it off. But if I add this light, that remember this light, guys? When I add this light, you guys can see that it shows it off, and it gives off like that 3D effect. And I think this is just so beautiful so yeah um this is what it looks like using a crepe fabric and to be honest with you i'm i kind of like this crepe fabric i feel like it's either this one or satin this one gives like a matte but still glossy 3d effect and this is what we this is what it is giving i'm not mad at it i think it's absolutely beautiful um yeah what do you guys think but um definitely go with a satin fabric if you want the most without doing the most basically because with the satin fabric it's still going to be glossy so that way even if just a little bit of light touches it you guys will still see the reflection but this is so i'm going to end this video right here um i do hope this video was as entertaining and as informative as i experienced while filming this i i totally enjoy this i hope this video was helpful again um join me in this series as we try to uncover and redesign as well as recreate youtubers filming studio setup on a budget if you guys are interested feel free to join the family subscribe to the family subscribe to the channel and let's just keep creating this and trying new things and learning at the same time if you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section in case you guys are new here feel free to check out my previous video with regards to like recreating another youtuber's sets i have the playlist over here as well as over here so do check them out and get started with creating as well as designing your own space 
being inspired by any youtuber that you love so yeah if you're new here again feel free to subscribe it is totally free and i cannot wait to see you guys in one of these videos so yeah let's go